Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. Now, <clears throat> we're here on Route 20. Uh, we've been battling and doing all that sort of stuff. Uh, but today we're going to be continuing our route and hopefully um, we'll be able to get to the gym by the end of this episode. Um, I'm going to lead with Eclipse for a little bit maybe. Um, yeah, we already battled this guy right here. Um, so we'll battle this girl right here real quick. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and battle her. She's got a Shinx. Um, there's a swimmer that we kind of... That's up there that we can um, go against, too. Um, I'll go ahead and Dark Pulse. It's probably my best bet now. Now that we know our uh, special attack is actually better than our physical attack. Alright. So let's go up there and battle that swimmer. Alright, so... <clears throat> Alright, and she's got two, uh, three love discs. Um, so yeah, Swimmer Mina here. Kind of a really, um, really, uh, you know, thematic team. Just three love discs. Uh, it's cool seeing a uh, Owen Mon <coughs> being represented here. Um, and, you know, we've, we're probably going to see a few more of Pokemons like that that are from other generations on this route. Oh, we saw Shinx. Uh, somehow that Picnicker got onto the island with just the Shinx. I don't understand how she did it, but she did it. Um, but, uh, yeah, there, this route's got a few trainers that's actually bringing um, Hoenn Pokemon and uh, Sinnoh Pokemon. So, um, we've got one more love disc. Um, hopefully through this route we should, um, be able to make it to the next gym. I <clears throat> don't know if we'll battle the next gym this episode or the next one. Uh, there's some stuff we need to do before we do that. Um, yeah. Also, um, we'll go ahead and ask the question of the day. Tell me about... Uh, when Pokemon got you through a tough time. Tell me about a time that Pokemon got you through something rough. Um, for me, uh, when I was younger, my parents went through a nasty divorce. And I pretty much played Pokemon all the time. And it got me through that tough time. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a time that Pokemon got me through something rough. Um, so... I feel like Pokemon is one of those game series that um, that impacts so many people's lives. It, it helps people get through some really tough times. Um, but yeah, we got a Starly here. I'm going to completely destroy it. It could have been a Staraptor, you know, but... Yeah, for some reason, a lot of these Pokemon and on the Kanto side, the trainers aren't bringing, you know, actual... Evolved. They're evolved forms. All right. Alright, so this person's got a Bidoof. Um, it actually makes more sense that she was able to get here on the back of a Bidoof because it can actually swim. It's basically like a beaver. I still don't understand how the Shink got here. 
Someone must have helped her get to that little sandbar. Anyway, we're going to... Uh, Max Repel, we need one of those. Alright, so this right here is Seafoam Island. <clears throat> um, we'll go ahead and jump up here and battle, but yeah. Seafoam Island's actually a pretty hefty island. It actually is. All right. Oh, dark pulse. Go ahead and go throw a dark pulse at this thing. It's gonna put us to sleep. Um, sleep's that weird stat that doesn't affect the other person with synchronize. I don't understand that. It makes sense if they, you know. All right, we'll go ahead and dark pulse. Man, we're going to sleep. Alright, so we're going to get a seed bomb. We're sleeping with this whole experience. Come on, Eclipse. Thank you. I don't understand why you slept so long. We're not going to knock it out. We're not going to knock it out? Uh, we'll try another Dark Pulse. I'm, I wish I had more Dark Pulses. But, you know. We, we've gotten a lot of battles here. Just with Eclipse. <clears throat> we pretty much got Eclipse. Pretty much caught up. Alright, so we can step into Seafoam Island real quick. And I'll show you around. This is pretty much an ice cave here in Kanto. Um, if you go up here, this is actually... Oh, you get to the gym portion. Um, and this is actually a fire type gym. I know it might be confusing with all the ice everywhere. You know, downstairs there's ice. Pretty much an ice cave. It's a fire type gym built into an ice cave. But we can go downstairs first. Um, and... Uh, Yeah, I think I want to go ahead and explore this area a little bit. Um, yeah, our Pokemon are pretty much caught up to the same level. <clears throat> um, for a cave, we do need our trusty book of Kanto. So, our trusty trusty canto book so because this is actually a pretty hefty cave here um so actually before we do anything there is an item up here I'm trying to picture out how to get to it you gotta go around here i do believe oh you gotta go up here actually okay okay i see and the good thing is we got strength. I'll turn that off because I can see a little bit better where I've got it. Uh, yeah. In order to... Do this, we have to go up here and reset that boulder. So we can actually... Oh, we gotta... Hit. 
drink again. I gotta do this little number again. <clears throat> um, there's an item up here we'll go ahead and grab. A grip Claw. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, you can use that to evolve. Um, I think it's actually... It's either um, Sneasel into Weavile. Or it is... Um, I'll grab this. That's the photographer. You can have a fruit photo with your Pokemon in here. But yeah, it's either it's either um, you can use it to evolve Sneasel, or you can use it to evolve um, uh, who is it? Gliscor. Gliger. Um, this is actually at the bottom of like a little little uh, hill, so. Can't go that direction. Um, you can actually go this way to get that item. Beverly, how are you calling me in this ice cave? How do you get signal? How do I have signal? That's what I need to say. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go down here. Grab this item right here. A water stone. A pretty nice item. Uh, you can use it to evolve. Um, Oh, I should tell you guys about some of the Pokemon you can find down here. You can actually find Seal down here. Uh, you can find Golduck and Psyduck. If you go down further in the cave, you can actually find Jinx, which is an interesting Pokemon. Jinx isn't that bad of a Pokemon. It's a Pokemon that a lot of people don't realize is actually decent. Um, so if we go this, we should be able to... You gotta do it every time. That would be cool if they, you know, made it where you didn't have to do it every time. You just do it once and it's like, oh, okay, I'll remember that. Um, there's got to be a way to get down there, is there? There's not. You have to... You have to come through. Also, this right here actually leads um, to the other side of Seafoam Island. So, if you want to exit the, you know, cave and be on the other side, this is actually the way... Um, so yeah, we explored the top floor. I want to actually make it a <clears throat> um, its own episode when we explore the entirety of the cave. I just wanted to show you guys how to explore the top portion. Um, there's some things that we could grab that were like in grabbing distance. Um, but yeah, eventually we can go through there, and that's actually where you find Articuno. So. Yeah, we will be back. Um, we shall return. Uh, I think I want to actually put... Awfully up front for a little bit. Get some experience on that thing. Also, we've got... Oh, we've already battled that girl down there. Um, I know Seafoam Island's kind of confusing how it's set up. But... But it's, you know... It's an island. Uh, so we'll continue on Route 20, finish that up, and then we'll return to Seafoam Island. And Lion Noon goes down pretty quickly. Um, that Lion Noon actually has a Citrus Berry, so don't be surprised if it, you know, heals itself up if it's in pinch range. Um, but up here, there's actually a trainer up here that we can battle off hiding behind this cave. He thinks he's he's well hidden, but he's not. He sticks out like a sorry thumb. Alright, let's go ahead. Brick, brick. All right, we're going to get hit with a nasty Hydro Pump. But, you know, I think we should live it because Awfully actually has a decent bolt. And Quick Claw obviously doesn't matter because we went first before. Um, yeah, Swimmer Lewis here. I don't think we have any more people that will ask for our number, so that's pretty much done there. Um, but we do have, you know... Some more trainers. Uh, he's got a Seedra and he's got a Quagsire. Quagsire is actually a pretty bulky Pokemon. Um, and something that's interesting to me is, I mean, I'm looking at, that's the 
Gen 1 remakes of me. What level Pokemon were here? So, in the, uh, let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee. Pretty much, the, the Pokemon were, that we're facing here are pretty much the same level that you would get to on in that game. Um, you know, and that is actually after, you know, most of Kanto. Whereas, here we are fighting the same level Pokemon. We have went through most of Kanto. But we've also went through the entirety of Johto. So I think that's kind of interesting that our levels are pretty much the same. <clears throat> um, that might also be because leveling Pokemon up in Let's Go is like based on catching Pokemon too. Um, go ahead and use a Lemonade. But yeah, look at this. Our Pokemon are almost all at level 50. We're all like one level away from hitting our 50s. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Alright. Poliwhirl. We're just going to um, click close, close combat. Uh, we'll actually switch after taking out this Poliwhirl because uh, Swimmer Elmo's other Pokemon is actually a Tentacruel and Omphalee does not want to face a Tentacruel. Uh, Tentacruel does have better special defense, but I still want to go into my Zephyr just because Psychic would still be better. Alright, let's go ahead and get Zephyr in here. All right, let's psychic. Let a psychic. Um, yeah, with a psychic, we're going to actually do some good damage onto the Tentacruel. Ooh, and I almost took it out. Um, hopefully, we don't get confused. If we get confused, it's the worst case scenario. Sorry, I didn't explain things correctly. Zipper. Oh, we're going to actually break there. Okay, good. All right. And I think we might end this episode here just because um, it's going to be quite a long episode if we continue this portion too. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hopefully next time we'll make our way through Seafoam and then take on the gym. I will see you in the next episode.